Welcome friends, let's discuss independent samples t-test. An independent samples t-test is a test using the t-statistic that establishes whether two means collected from independent samples differ significantly. An independent samples t-test is used when there are two experimental conditions, that is two groups, and the different participants were assigned to each condition. The independent samples t-test is sometimes called independent measures or independent means t-test. A classic example for applying an independent samples t-test is when a researcher applies some kind of intervention to classroom 1 and no intervention or an alternative intervention to classroom 2. The samples are independent because they represent two different classrooms, 1 and 2. Again, the key to applying an independent samples t-test is that the samples are two different groups. A key part of an independent samples t-test is the t-statistic, which is calculated from the t-ratio. Conceptually, this is the difference between the means of the two groups, say, the means of two classrooms on a post-test, divided by the estimate of the standard error for the two groups. The t-ratio can be represented another way. It is also the slope of the line from a predictor variable divided by the standard error of the predictor. The t-ratio is used to determine statistical significance of predictors in regression. Nevertheless, let's revisit the first representation of the t-ratio and investigate it further. An equation for the t-ratio which produces the t-statistic looks like this. The numerator shows the means of group 1 and group 2 on some measure. Maybe it's a teacher-made post-test. These means are subtracted. The denominator shows the standard error of group 1 and 2, which are added, and then take the square root of this value. If you look close, you should recognize additional components of this equation. S is the standard deviation. S squared is variance and n is the sample size. Variance divided by sample size is standard error. One way to conceptualize that equation is that the t-ratio consists of the distance between group means divided by the average distance of the group means from the estimated population mean. That is the standard error. You can also think of the t-ratio as a regression, as previously mentioned, where t is the model divided by the error in the model. In both conceptualizations, as the standard errors get closer to zero, then any difference in group means will be magnified in t. Also, as differences in means increase, then t is magnified if the standard errors hold steady. The t-ratio is used to calculate a t-statistic, which is a number that can be compared to known values taken from a t-distribution. The t-distribution looks a lot like a normal distribution, especially when the number of cases is 30 or more. An independent samples t-test is usually two-tailed because the difference between the means is not known. Group 1 may have a larger mean or group 2. Two-tailed tests are applied to account for the two possibilities yielding more conservative estimates. Statistical significance of the independent samples t-test is determined by comparing the resulting t-statistic to known values in a t-distribution and then matching this to a probability, usually 0.05. A resulting t-statistic with a probability equal to or less than 0.05 or 5% is interpreted as statistically significant. This means the two samples are different, or another way to think of statistical significance is that the sample means are from different populations, with the inference that the intervention had some effect. An independent samples t-test relies on the variance of the two groups being about equal. This is important enough that statistical software will make two calculations. The first uses an equation that assumes the variances of the two groups are equal, or at least roughly equal. The second formula makes adjustments and produces results assuming the variances of the two samples are unequal. 
While statistical software will provide two sets of results, one for equal variance and another for unequal variance, it is still necessary to check parametric assumptions, including whether the variances are equal by comparing the v-statistic for each group, examining box plots, and conducting Levine's test. We noted earlier that the t-ratio can be calculated as regression. This suggests there's something fundamental about the t-test Indeed, the independent samples t-test shows up in other statistical tests. For example, the test of statistical significance used in a bivariate correlation is an independent samples t-test. The test of statistical significance of individual predictor variables in regression is also an independent samples t-test. One reason for this crossover is the t-test is a fundamental component of general linear model procedures Statistical tests in the GLM family are related, and the independent samples t-test is one relation. It shows up in correlation, regression, and as we will see in upcoming modules, it shows up in analysis of variance or ANOVA.